Abby Meyers, Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine, a presentation of Sonny Hirsch and myself. Dial us up on the web at ntnm.org. Over a thousand interviews available on YouTube. Um, community policing caps 24.org. Now, I usually don't have guests back this quick, but there is one qualification that can override any of these factors. Now, what pe people ask me what I look for for a guest or what I look for in a girl sometimes. It's very simple. The ability to give good Marty Levinson. So, <laughs> I would like to thank very much my next guest, who is an artist and a teacher, who gave us a very creative Marty Levinson that hopefully will live on through the ages, Pearl Basha Moskowitz. How are you? Baruch Hashem. How are you? Thank God. Pretty good. I'm doing well. And you look very good today. Thank you. And so do you. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's probably because I'm in your glow. So, in any event, in terms of um, artwork, now, for those of you who are watching, uh, Pearl's been an artist for a long time. She's also been a teacher. She hasn't necessarily, con I mean, she also took time out to have eight kids and all the rest of that good stuff. So, but actually, in the early 80s, she did some illustrations for Jewish Chicago, and it was a paid magazine. As a matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, the late Rabbi Moskowitz is the one that hooked us up. So, uh, no relation, though. <laughs> So different spelling. Um, but anyway, um, we're going to be showing some of her, her paintings, some of her oil paintings. On, is this oil, pa or you paint oil paintings in general? or Generally speaking. Yeah. And um, you're going to see like about four or five of them on the screen, so you'll know that that's her particular stuff. So um, when did you first notice that you were interested in art? About three years old, five years old, something yeah. like that, yeah. It's pretty cool. So you know early on. Yes. I used to do at the kitchen table. I would practice drawing with my mom and sister. And I started taking art lessons in the neighborhood from a neighborhood teacher at, at about eight years old, learning, starting with oil and painting and charcoals and things like that. And uh, that's very cool. And what, what were some of the things you initially drew? Still lives, a lot of still lives. Yeah. Um, things from pictures from magazines. I, I, actually, the the thing that I remember drawing at the kitchen table when I was at about five, whatever it was, was uh, my mom's diamond ring. Oh, cool. And then I, then there was like comics from the new, the funny section and all that. Whatever was around, whatever drew my interest. You drew whatever drew your interest. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So um, basically, uh, you graduated high school, and then you went to college. Yes. So, and you majored in art? Yes, I did. Okay, tell us a little bit about the college experience in art. All right. Well, I graduated high school after my junior year, and I went to the University of Wisconsin at Madison because basically... I didn't want to stay home and start working, and I didn't really have anything else to do. And uh, somebody in my art class said that they had a really great art program. And so I just kind of went and sight, sight unseen to Madison, Wisconsin, majored in um, art and agriculture at that time. Interesting. Yes. And so th I know that's a very terrible reason for going to college. <laughs> No, I've heard worse. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good to know. So uh, then I, um, it was a little bit premature for me to go to college, so I came home and I worked for a year. Then I reapplied and went to Kansas City Art Institute, and I stayed there for a year. At that same time, I started embracing Judaism and learning and practicing, and the Kansas City piece didn't really work didn't fit in really well with that. So I came back home and I finished school at the Art Institute of Chicago with, and I was majoring in painting and printmaking and I got a, um, and I was in art education and I got my degree in art teaching K through 12. Very good. And you've done quite a bit of teaching too over the years. Yes. So, I mean, this year you decided to take a sabbatical and work on your artwork? Yes. So, um, 
in any way on how is how has your artwork been progressing? Well, I, I'm glad I'm very happy with it because I'm starting to tackle some areas that I've been fearful of in the past, and that's kind of what I'm doing with it now, facing my fears and painting daily, besides Shabbos, of course, and challenging myself. You know, all those things that I'm afraid of and that, you know, I, I keep pushing myself um, and just to improve my work and confront myself through my work. As a matter of fact, I think sometimes the best way to uh, work, you know, confronting your fears is the best way to uh, get rid of them and become stronger as a result, I think. Yes, definitely. So uh, does this mean, do you see, the, do you see it yourself in, in your art, th that message? I mean that you're c confronting your fears and getting over them, or? Yes, definitely. I keep, there's a lot of just little things that I need to tweak, and I see that I'm making progress with that on a daily level. And it also um, just filters out into other areas of my life. No, that's good, so it's a matter of discipline. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, be, being a writer, I know that it's not always so easy to sit yourself down when there's no other boss or anybody else around you, and you've got to be creative. And, uh, you know, it's sometimes tough to shut out the world and be able to do it, but it's a very important part of accomplishing what a person needs to accomplish in an artistic endeavor. Yes. yes. So... Um, is are there uh, you, you, you've got several different subject matters? I mean, like like the shots we're showing, there'll be a still life. There'll be a one of them is a portrait of uh, Jennifer Lawrence. You've got a couple of interesting fishies. One with the headband, <laughs> and there's one lady who's actually in a fish costume, and it's a pretty cool fish costume. So those are the four. I'm sure we're uh, putting on the screen. I'm not sure about any anything. You know, I I think those are the four I'm concentrating on. You actually sent me about nine different pictures, and. Just from a practical standpoint, we couldn't use the horizontal ones. You'll see, because actually during some of these pictures, I'm the one being blocked out. So uh, that way she can still talk and be on the screen and, and uh, talk, you know, talk about her art and stuff like that. So what's the next step for you? I'm working toward going to school for my master's degree. And so that's part of this whole process of where I'm gearing my work and one of the motivations for working hard at my work. And I'd like to start exhibiting and selling more. And basically that's it, you know. So when you prefer working in oils, do you do anything besides the oil paintings or everything's in oil now? Most recently, I'm, everything's in oil. I've done photography and weaving and I do watercolors. Um, I, I've kind of run the gamut of what I've done. It's just that I concentrate on the painting. No, very good. Um, and it, I, I happen to like your artwork. I think it's very good stuff. So I definitely enjoy it. And uh, at this point, anyway, Mickey's hands are getting there. So I'd like to thank you very much, Pearl Basher Moskowitz, and being a good religious person. I'd usually stick my hand over there, but okay, that works. Let's <laughs> <laughs> we just. Uh, Coin the religious handshake. Absolutely. The kosher religious handshake. Should we do it again? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a pleasure having you here. And thank you for uh, your great Marty Levinson. I do appreciate that. Thank you. And I want to thank my entire technical crew, Sonny Hirsch. And thank you for joining us. And join us again next week. Bye-bye, everybody.